Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the ProSorFit dip stand station. I'm going to tell you my thoughts as well as show you some exercise you can do with them. So stay tuned to the end. I got this dip station off of Amazon. At the time of this video, the price of it was $70. That's $70 USD and I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. It comes in different color, black, red, and yellow. And as you can see here, I got the black one. And one of my favorite exercises to do with these is dips. And it works really well for its purpose as you can see me doing dips right here. After a few years of use, the dip station is still holding up really well. It's nice and secure and you can see right here I'm doing incline push-ups with them. Uh, these are great if you're new to doing push-ups and you're struggling. The incline is actually a lot easier because you're being supported um, when you hold on to these bars. And I'm going to show you a front view of me using them. Incline push-ups are a lot easier because you're being supported but they actually work your lower chest more. A good way to remember is where your feet placement is. When you do incline, your feet is lower in your body. So just think of it as it targets your lower chest. And now I'm going to show you me doing decline push-ups. And you can see here where I'm doing decline push-ups, my feet is higher up. So think of it as this way. Uh, when your feet is higher up while you're doing decline, you're working your upper chest more. Wow incline your feet is lower and it's your lower chest it's just an easy way to remember when you're doing incline versus decline push-ups and while incline push-ups is a lot easier because you have more support decline push-ups is harder because your feet is up and you have less support but it's a good way to practice a more challenging push-up and this dip station is great for that this dip station can support up to 400 pounds and I'm not 400 pounds, obviously, but this is me doing dips with a weighted vest. Uh, with the vest and me doing dips, this is about 185 pounds right now, and it's holding it up pretty well. But according to the description, yeah, it could support up to 400 pounds. And I've been using this dip station for over a few years and no issues with them. So they're pretty secure. And this is me just showing you um, that you could do L sits with them and it hold pretty well. I actually don't practice this movement a lot, but I really should. And you can actually take the middle piece right there for the dip station if you want to take it apart. But I like keeping it together to hold it in place and make it feel more secure. Also to add, this is really easy to assemble. You don't need any special tools. It comes with everything you need and you're really just putting the middle pieces and the outside uh, cap on. So it doesn't take long at all. Overall, I love this dip station. I've been using it on and off for a few years. My little brother uses it a lot as well, and it holds up pretty well. And for its price, you can't beat it. There's so many different exercises you can do with it, but obviously dips are my favorite to use these for. And here is the Pro Sword Fit dip station side by side next to some dip bars I made. I do a lot of DIY workouts if you haven't noticed and if you're new to my channel feel free to check it out. Back when the pandemic started I started doing a lot of DIY type workouts and making different DIY weights and things like that. And this is the DIY dip bar I made to the right of it. I prefer the Pro Sore Fit dip bar obviously because it's more secure and more stable but the DIY dip bar uh, still holds up pretty well and I can still use it for dips after all these years. One thing to add is I love using this dip station to combine with my other workouts like here I'm doing dips and then after the dips I'm doing air squats after the squats I'm doing push-ups so it's a good way to add to your routine to combine with different workouts and I do a lot of burpee style workouts home workouts as well so if you're interested feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos below I'll leave it in the description and that's all thanks for stopping by uh, let me know what you think would you get this dip station and if so, why or why not? And let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.